Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel Hooked in Loops. So today we will be learning how to make this cute puff stitch flower clips. So basically I will be teaching you how to make the flower and you can stick the flower to the clip using hot glue gun. So let's begin. So for this I'm using 4 ply acrylic yarn. So many of my students ask me what is 4 ply. Basically 4 ply is the yarn which has got 4 strings twisted together to form the yarn. So it is a 4 ply yarn and for this I have chosen a 3 mm crochet hook. Okay so let's begin. So we will begin with a magic circle. So how to do a magic circle? So take two fingers, index and middle finger, wrap the yarn around both the fingers forming an X like this and hold the shorter end of the yarn with the thumb. Turn and hold the larger end of the yarn with your ring finger. Practice holding it in this way if you are a complete beginner. Now insert the hook pointing downwards below the first loop and on top of the second one. Then slowly pull the second loop in this way and twist it like this. Just follow step by step. Then insert the hook below the first yarn, the larger part of the yarn in this way and then pull it through the loop like this. So this is how we do a magic circle. In the magic ring guys we will be doing total 6 half double crochet stitches because we are going to have 6 petals. So for 6 petals we are going to have 6 half double crochets. So let's do it. Yarn over. Just see. Insert the hook in the magic circle and pull the yarn outside. You can see that there are 3 loops in the hook yarn over and pull it through all the three loops together this is how you do a half double crochet stitch in this way we are going to have a total of six half double crochets so one already done five more so second one third one fourth one fifth one and sixth one so guys we have done six half double crochets already one two three four five six easy peasy right now we will simply pull the tail of the magic circle in this way this is the tail and close the magic circle done now guys we will simply do a slip stitch in the first half double crochet stitch so insert your hook in the first half double crochet stitch in this way pull the yarn through it like this and do a slip stitch in this way so the first round completed guys now let's move to the petals as you can see these are the petals so here we are going to do puff stitches okay so let's do it guys it is a very beautiful stitch and it gives a very beautiful end result so let's do it simply guys we will begin with a chain three just do along with me so one two and three done now just we will start our puff stitches just follow i am doing the first petal slowly yarn over insert your hook in the first stitch first half double crochet stitch and pull the yarn through the stitch outside repeat this total eight times that means one already done we will be doing this for seven more times so yarn over insert the hook pull the loop outside 
second time done third time fourth time sixth time seven time and eighth time done you can do it for total 10 times also it's your choice okay now guys yarn over and pull the yarn through all the loops that are present in the hook so the first part of the puff stitch is done we are going to secure this with a chain one done so your first petal is completed now guys we will do a chain three so one two and three and then we will complete this petal with a slip stitch in the next stitch so insert your hook in the next stitch okay pull the yarn through it outside and do a slip stitch so the first petal is done guys let's do the second petal so one two and three as usual as we began in the first petal yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch and pull the yarn through it outside repeat it for seven more times yarn over insert your hook and pull the yarn outside second time done third four five six seven and eight done guys now yarn over and pull the yarn through all the loops carefully and slowly then guys do a chain one to secure the puff stitch and then one two and three done now guys complete the petal with a slip stitch in the next stitch so guys i have shown you how to do two petals we will be doing total four petals we will begin the next petal so one two and three we will do the puff stitch in the same stitch done and then chain three one two and three and slip stitch in the next stitch in this way let's complete two more petals and i'll show you the last one so guys let's do the last petal together now the best technique to learn crochet is to do along with the video just be confident with your yarn and your hook that's it do along with the video and get your confidence and then do all your projects with written patterns that's what that's how i learned my crochet so let's uh, do the last petal okay one two and three that is chain three done yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch and pull the yarn through it outside repeat two three four five six seven and eight okay now guys yarn over and pull the yarn through all the loops that are present in the hook secure it with a chain one and your puff stitch is done do a chain three guys so one two and three 
in case you are a complete beginner just follow my absolute beginners playlist already in the i button of the video just check it out guys and practice the beginners uh, crochet stitches and then come back to the video and don't forget to subscribe okay simply guys we will insert our hook in the same stitch where we began our round pull the yarn through it outside and then slip stitch in the fur in uh, and do the slip stitch done guys this is how we did the flower do a chain one and then simply cut the yarn guys pull the loop make it tight insert the hook in the same stitch where you began from below wrap the yarn around the hook and pull it downwards so that your top portion looks neat and clean so the main part of the flower is ready now we will do the inside portion with the pink color okay so let's do it guys for that we are taking the pink colored yarn and do a slip knot take your index finger wrap the yarn around your finger forming an x turn pull the first loop and from below we will pull the second loop and also the shorter end of the yarn apart so in this way we did the slip knot insert the hook in the slip knot guys in this way and make it tight with the larger part of the yarn and our slip knot is ready now guys watch carefully whatever i am doing Sl insert your hook in any stitch of the first round suppose this one and take it out through the adjacent stitch okay i hope you understood what i did i'll repeat insert your hook in any stitch of the first round and take out your hook through the adjacent stitch like this okay now guys pull the pink colored yarn through that stitch slowly and just do a slip stitch now guys what we will do we will do chain 3 so 1 2 and 3 chain 3 done now this particular yarn is causing disturbance in my mind and also in this flower insert your hook in the same stitch where you inserted earlier but from below wrap the yarn around the hook and pull it downwards in this manner below so now it's looking neat and clean so let's continue we will now be doing puff stitch where we will do the puff stitch we will do in the first chain so we did chain 3 right 1 2 and 3 now we are going to do puff stitch in this particular chain that is the first chain yarn over insert your hook in the first chain pull the yarn through it outside total 8 turns okay so 2 3 4 5 6 7 and guys 8 done yarn over and pull the yarn through all the loops that are present in the hook do it slowly otherwise you will have to repeat it because you will face problems now secure the puff stitch with a chain 1 done right now guys we will insert our hook in the opposite stitch in this way and take it out through 
this stitch like this pull the yarn guys through those stitches and do a slip stitch okay and do a chain one done now cut the yarn guys i hope it was easy to follow and our flower pattern is ready pull the loop so again insert your hook in the stitch from below wrap the yarn guys and pull it below so it's looking pretty flower isn't it now guys i prefer tying a knot between these two opposite yarn so keep the tail of the yarn long so it, you can feel you can easily tie a knot with it like this done and we will cut our yarn we don't want this yellow part also we will cut it so our flower is ready and we can stick it anywhere in a clip in a clutcher anywhere suppose this is our clutcher we can stick it here like it will appear really pretty or we can attach it to any rubber band too so this is our flower puff stitch flower i hope you liked this tutorial if you like this tutorial and like the way i taught you simply click the subscribe button that is really going to help me guys i have 14000 subscriber help me reach 15000 bye guys